This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now, if we can get my BMW M4 rolling out the door today on its own accord, then we're on to a winner. Optimistic, I know. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off from. There is a lot to do on this M4. Quite clearly, there is no front end on there, and I didn't start putting the new front end on because we couldn't figure out where these parts were going to. Now we've actually figured out where they go to is an oil cooler on the bottom of, well, the subframe. All this on the floor is gearbox oil, and that is because there is a huge hole in the gearbox sump, and that was caused by, we think, a forklift at the auction place. They've obviously lifted the car up, they've squashed the exhaust here, and, well, damaged the gearbox sump, as well as the engine sump, which we replaced in the last video. If you've not seen that, click in the top right hand corner. So yeah, massive shout out to Copart for, well, squashing the sumps. Enough messing around, let's get this new gearbox sump on, which I managed to get from BMW. Let's do it. Okay, so first I'm gonna loosen the fill plug on the side of the gearbox, because if we can't loosen this later, then we've had it. Then time to remove the damaged sump. Luckily, there was nothing damaged underneath the sump. Then time to refit the new sump I got from BMW. 280 pound later, but at least it fits correctly. And of course, I torqued all the bolts up to the correct spec. Now surprisingly, BMW sent me all of this oil, nine liters of it, because the gearbox actually takes eight and a half liters of oil to fill it. But I wasn't gonna put the oil in just yet because the front end was still off, and these two lines here actually lead to a transmission oil cooler. So if I filled up the gearbox, it would probably start leaking out the front. But whilst this front end was off, it leads on to the first sort of aftermarket modification, which is here. Now, I don't know the full ins and outs of this, but Malibu Performance have said, if I'm gonna tune this M4, which I plan to do, then it's a good idea to get the crank hub done. And by that, they mean one of these things. And this is just sort of a plate which goes over the crank hub like that because for some reason they're known to slip and when they slip it pulls out your timing. But this is a thing from MMR Performance and it just goes over the crank hub like that. I, I don't know, the BMW guys would know exactly what this does. But I'm just gonna put it on there and then it's just for peace of mind, I guess, so the engine doesn't blow up when I tune it. So that big bolt in the middle actually connects to the crank. And if that slips, then all of your timing all goes out. So this is a sort of capture plate which bolts over the top, which stops that slip from happening. Once that was on, I could start to remove the oil cooler lines because they were damaged at the bottom. They've been crimped. And these were the new ones I got from BMW. Now one of these pipes was 85 pound and the other pipe was 107 pound. But I had no other choice. Ridiculous, I know. Now once they were fitted and all tightened up to the oil filter housing, it was time to start fitting the radiator pack, which of course is off a BMW M3. I managed to grab second hand off eBay. <laughs> now there's a lot of pipes, hoses and clips to connect to this, but it was fairly self-explanatory. And lucky enough, it fitted perfectly. Now there's still two small radiators to go on, one on the right hand side and the other on the left hand side, but we'll leave them for later. Now this is a perfect time to thank all of those that are subscribed to the channel. And of course, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button below. It really helps the channel out. It doesn't finish here. Time for the full front end and the crash bar of the M3 to go on. When I wake up early in the morning And when I come home at night Everything is covered in darkness And, and of course, the engine oil cooler which sits underneath this all. Now, I kind of snake you guys, and I did something off camera, and, well, we got a bit of bad news. So, as you guys know, I bought a full front end of a BMW M3, the same age as well. So, and everything fitted fine. I mean, the rad pack went in fine. The headlights have gone in fine. Everything's plugged in and worked fine. I thought, right, we're on to a winner. I've even got the wings. So my theory was right, they are the same. But this is where my theory had a downfall in it. This is what's left of the old headlights. They look pretty much the same. And the plug for the headlights, which is here, actually even goes in quite nicely. I thought, you know what? Let's start it and just double check. Turn this on. Put the side lights on, put the headlights on. Let's even put the hazards on. Hazards are on, and I've got nothing. So now it looks like I'm gonna be scouring the web for some second-hand BMW M4 headlights, which is where today's sponsor of the video comes into place. 
From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your business. Now we all know nowadays the first point of contact between someone and a business is usually the website. If it's not looking professional, slick and sexy, then you're probably going to lose that customer. So I'm definitely going to be looking for a sexy website to buy my BMW M4 headlights off. And I'm going to show you how Squarespace can help build one of them. There's hundreds of templates to choose from. Let's start with this one. You can then just simply drag and drop your logos in there, drag and drop your own photos in there with ease. I can drag photos of my new products on there, like this amazing new t-shirt, and then edit any text and buttons on the website. I can even see what it would look like in mobile view. And on your left hand side here is all the marketing and analytic tools you can use to grow your brand. So when you need a website, go to squarespace.com or click the link in the description box below and use code Matt Armstrong when you're ready to launch and you're going to get yourself 10% of your first website or domain name. Once again, thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's crack on with the M4. Okay, so we've learned some parts of the M3 fit so far and some parts don't. The headlights are going to be an issue and unfortunately they're probably one of the most expensive parts of the front end. But at least now we've got all the mechanical side of it all put together so we can start to put the oil in the engine very soon. Yes the interior still needs doing but we'll get to that later. For now we need to see if these wings fit. We have another big problem. M3 wings, <laughs> they don't fit. I've only got myself to blame for this one. This is an M4 wing and that is an M3 wing. They pretty much look identical, but let's line this up. Like that, that is lined up with there. Like it's just, it's just not, a, there's no chance. There's just no chance. Like that is all lined up. Even, even this body line here is, well, it's just, it's just completely different. I don't even know why I thought they, they fit. I guess like every time people list stuff for M3, they say M3, M4, I don't know. So we've lost out on the headlights, we've lost out on the wings. What makes me think the bonnet is not gonna fit either? I don't, I don't, I don't know, I, I have no idea. We'll try the bonnet because I, well, if the, uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, let's try the bonnet. Yes, it seems that like we have some stroke of luck. Well, I think. Okay, so this is a front bumper and the bonnet. I wanted to put the bonnet on, but I couldn't tell whether it lined up with anything because we had no wings on. So I put the old wing on and it looks as if that is gonna line up fine with an M4 wing. It then meets nicely into the M3 front bumper. And then this is the uh, bumper, which I think well, once it's got a bit of leeway in and a wing which isn't bent, that should bolt on quite nicely. So at least we've got a bumper, a bonnet. We won't talk about the headlights or the wings. Right, let's put the oil in and see if this thing starts and runs. Come on. All of my friends say so as I've previously mentioned, eight and a half liters of gearbox oil it takes to fill the gearbox up on the BMW M4. And you can't just simply pour it in. I've got to pump it in with this little pump I've got here. And as the pump only really takes half a liter of oil, there's a lot of pumping to be done. <laughs> now I didn't actually manage to get the full eight and a half liters in. I only managed to get about three and a half before it actually started pouring out. So we'll come back to that later. But for now, let's move on to the engine and change the old oil filter to a fresh and new one. Then we're gonna put some of your finest budget 5W30 fully synthetic. I'm using this oil just because I wanna run the engine through, then drain it out afterwards to flush out any old rubbish that's going around in the engine before putting some good oil in there. Okay, well this is it. There's engine oil in, there's gearbox oil in, there's not enough obviously so what I need to do is actually run it. I don't know whether you put it in gear or what, I don't know, I just need to let it run round so that I can keep filling it up. I don't know why, but I'm more nervous now about starting it than I was when I had the plastic underneath it in the last video. What? I've got to start it, and I. 
Let's do it. And also, just before we started, there's obviously no coolant in there at the minute. And that's because on these engines, you can't just pour it in and let it run. It has to be sort of like vacuum put in somehow. But I've got the kit, it's over there, so we'll do that. But we're not gonna run it to temperature anyway. I just wanna see if it runs first. Please, please, please run okay. I hope I've connected everything up. Please let the oil stay in the engine. Let's do it. Seems like I've got no power steering. I think I plugged the power steering in. Feels like I've not got any though. Right, will it go into gear? Yes, it will. Yes, we're moving. We are moving, baby. Turn into neutral, then let's turn this off. Come on. I have no idea why the power steering don't work. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's refill the gearbox for it. Sick, the M4 forward slash M3 is now on the floor and looking straight, that is a bit more satisfying now. Feels like we actually got somewhere. Yes, these wheels are battered and the bumper is still hanging off, but at least we're on the floor. Now we've got oil in the engine and we've got a fair amount of oil in the gearbox. Still not enough in the gearbox, but we're gonna have to keep letting it through and then refilling it. Now we've got no coolant at all, so we can't run the engine to temperature. It does have like a high pressure filling point and a low pressure filling point. And to fill these, you actually have to use a little vacuum thing here, which I don't know how to use yet. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of Googling to work out how to work that. But just for my own satisfaction, I wanna roll this outside and give it a little bit of a clean, just so I'm not working on such a dirty car. I don't know, it's just, it's just something I wanna do. Let's roll this out. most pointless clean of 2021 <laughs> but it's just satisfying that this m4 not long ago only a couple of weeks ago got dragged into my unit by the golf R, and now it's managed to sort of limp its way out of here on its own accord which is satisfying for me and now at least it's looking a little bit clean but we've still got a long way to go with the m4 and this is kind of what we need to do. We need two M4 wings or fenders if you're American because we've learned that the M3 wings don't fit. I need a side skirt. Wheels are still battered and the tires had it. I'm gonna have to fork out for some M4 headlights because M3 headlights don't work. I've got to work out how the coolant goes in it. I still need to top up the gearbox oil. Dashboard, steering wheel and curtain airbag still need replacing. Well, I was about to say I've got no power steering but all of a sudden it's decided to work. Yes, one down, about 10 to go. Oh yeah, and the windscreen, it's still smashed. We're gonna have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yes, what a bonus that is. Power steering, come on. We know exactly where we are now with the M4. We know what we need to do. So make sure you guys have clicked that subscribe button so you're ready for the next video on the M4. And let me know, what would you do to it? How can we make this different? We know what we do on this channel. We make the cars different, we want to make them stand out. So let me know in the comments, what would you do to this M4 to make it stand out from the crowd? But for now, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.